peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. Double the jelly. Double the fun. And there is a sandwich. Mic check. Ha ha. We need to take one. I'll be the anti-myth rhythm rock shaka. You know that Rage song? No. Mic check. The Battle of Los Angeles, Rage Against the Machine's third album. There's a song called Mic Check, and it's a really cool song. And fun fact, I auditioned for a rapping role using that song. The little, more little. you know. <laughs> the more you know. Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Brian. And we are Those, those Annoying, annoying vegans. vegans. Happy 2017. Happy New Year, everybody. We know we promised you a really special video for our first video of the year. And it's still coming. It's coming. We're working on it. We're actually shooting it next weekend. It's going to be so exciting. And it's going to be a surprise. But in the meantime, my sister gave us these really cute aprons for Christmas. And they sparked an idea. That's right. Last year at home, we made our very own fig preserves using a farm fresh to you recipe. Now the recipe did contain honey, so of course we veganized, veganized it, it, but it got us thinking. I bet we could make our own preserves using any fruit we like. So today we're gonna show you how to make three different kinds. And it's as easy as choosing your favorite fruit, throwing in some citrus, some sugar, agave, and your favorite spice. Yeah. So we got creative with our spices. We use things like rosemary and allspice and cloves. So feel free to use your favorite combinations. And as always, this recipe is delicious, affordable, and easy to make. So let's make it. Let's make it. Do you think I look sexier now with less beard? You always look sexy. <laughs> Such a setup. I had to do this. It's getting too long. Too long for you, Mr. Yeah. Calvary. <laughs> so. Turned out pretty good, huh? Mm. This is a great thing. 
about making your own jelly at home mm -hmm. is it's super easy. You literally just put everything in the pot and let it go. Let it go. And then it doesn't have all those preservatives and mm. not a whole lot of sugar compared to the store-bought kind. Yeah. And you can customize it too with whatever spices you want. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of that strawberry, lime, rosemary combo. You can taste the rosemary in the strawberry jam. You can try mint. Mm -hmm. Pretty much anything that you would put in a pie of that flavor. I would never even have thought to do that, except we were uh, tooling around in the old uh, cochina back here. <laughs> cochina! Do you know what cochina means? It's when you're calling a person dirty. I'm still working on my uh, Espanol. You were close. I was close. Look who's here again. Hey! She blends into our aprons. <laughs> she looks so happy. Oh, titties. Oh, tweety da poo. Tweety da poo. Sorry we were away for so long, guys. Yeah. We were traveling, visiting our families over the holidays. We visited three different states in order to accomplish that. Yes, we did. <laughs> and we were surprised and very happy to find so many easy vegan options in mm -hmm. all three states. And our families were really accommodating too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone was so kind and it was just effortless. Like in Boston, our friend took us to this vegan restaurant called The Red Lentil. It was delicious. We went to, you know, your regular pubs and restaurants and we always found vegan options. And then in New York, my sister took us to this Greek, Greek restaurant. Greek restaurant and a lot of vegan options there. We just, you know, left out like things like yogurt and cheese. In Morgantown, oh Morgantown. my gosh. Morgantown, wow. Brian's mom, first thing, introduces us to all these vegan baked goods from- The what, Venerable Bean. The Venerable Bean, and they make- Vegan pepperoni rolls. Now, if you're not from West Virginia, that's not a big deal. But if you are from West Virginia, that's an enormous deal. <laughs> They it's were insane. delicious. They were so good. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is an Appalachian treat. Pepperoni rolls. Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia. It's really the only area of the country where if you say pepperoni roll, people know what you're talking about. <laughs> I thought the cinnamon roll was incredible too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Brian's grandma made the most incredible corn chowder soup. Yes. Why? And you know us in soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to put Tweeties down because we worked out yesterday and my arms are killing me. For all the delicious vegan fare that we had over the holidays, thank you so much. So we had this thought while we were watching um, all the new commercials. In January, it's typical that you'll see a lot of commercials for gyms and workout equipment and diets and all this stuff because people want to get in shape for the new year. That's a very popular New Year's resolution. Which ends at around... The end of February. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of diets, a lot of people have different ideas of what diets they want. You know, paleo or low carb or Atkins. high fat. Atkins. Blah, blah, blah. They all have these do's and don'ts. And in fact, a vegan diet is the least restrictive. There's only one don't, and it's don't eat animal products. But like with the Atkins diet, you don't have options like carb-free pasta or <laughs> carb-free cookies, you know? But yeah. veganism, they're, they're making options all the time. Remember a few months ago when I mentioned that we wrote to our local Trader Joe's branch manager asking him to carry more dairy-free options? Mm -hmm. um, cheese, butter, what have you. Guess what? what? It worked! Because we found Miyoko's oh. butter. Miyoko's dairy-free butter at our Trader Joe's. This yep. is huge, because you, you were only able to get this online before. Mm -hmm. This butter does not have palm oil. No palm it. oil. And it's pretty affordable. Vegan cream cheese from the Trader Joe's. Try this. It's new. Yeah. Try this with the strawberry jam oh. on a bagel. It's so good. We got Come these on. pretzel bagel buns there that are vegan. It works. Yeah. Write to your local stores and ask them to carry your favorite products. Yeah. They might even send you coupons. Mm -hmm. And we saw a really awesome commercial. We can put that in the description for Country Croc. Yay! <laughs> it's so cute. It's this little boy in a dinosaur costume and he runs into the kitchen and his mom has like a bowl of vegetables and like uh, Country Croc dairy-free butter. Mm -hmm. And he's like, Mom, dinosaurs eat meat. Well, no, actually the biggest dinosaurs ate plants. There's a whole big like plant-based protein 
stuff now in targets and grocery stores yeah. it's growing it's growing it's, it's growing. coming so somebody asked us in the comments how we met we met at a friend's wedding we did we met at a wedding we were both grooms people we ended up talking about interstellar we sat on top of a dining room table in a cabin in the woods and we talked about uh time travel, time travel. quantum physics yeah. <laughs> A fabric of space time. You know, all the holes. usual stuff you talk romantic about stuff, when guys. you romantic meet a person. Stuff. Yeah. Funnily enough, at the wedding where we met, they gave us as wedding favors little, little jars. Little jelly jars. Yeah. We just sort of hung out for a few months and then you made me vegetarian chili and vegetarian lasagna. You took me out to a vegan restaurant. So you were already open to the idea. Yeah. We moved in together and you when you stopped eating meat. I didn't know all the ins and outs of the factory farming industry before I became vegan. I had never seen earthlings. I didn't know about, you know, baby male chicks being ground up alive. I didn't know about pigs being steamed alive. I didn't know about baby calves being snatched away from their moms and killed for veal. Like there's a bunch of stuff that just wasn't in the normal psyche of your average meat eater because they don't want it in your psyche. And so the more I cut out animal products and when we cut them out entirely, just the better I feel as a person. If you're gonna be with a person who considers eating meat morally wrong, then how can you be with that person and still eat meat? To me, that would be a conflict right away in the relationship. What's more important to me, being with this woman or eating meat? And what's more important is being with this woman. Hmm. And granted, there are many couples out there who are different in that aspect. Oftentimes what happens is the non-vegan partner starts to slowly incorporate vegan foods, vegetarian foods. They start adopting the practices of their vegan partner because it really is that easy. Buying non-dairy butter is just as easy as buying butter. Mm -hmm. So when you have the choice, why not? Why not? Buying almond milk is just as easy as buying milk. It's not in the human being nature to murder a baby cow and steal its milk. Like it's not, you wouldn't do that. What are you doing? <laughs> it's, you're shaking it around in my head and I don't know how I face. I'm hungry. It feels good. It feels good to be with you. Hmm. Feels good to be with you too. I knew that leading by example would eventually sort of, you know. Work its way in. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm at a loss, loss for words, words today. <laughs> peanut, peanut butter, butter jelly time. time. Peanut, peanut butter, butter jelly time. time. And as always, guys, if you like this video, if you wouldn't mind clicking the old thumbs up button down there, and if you haven't yet done so, subscribe. Yeah, and we love to hear your comments. We always read them. Sorry if we haven't gone back to you in a while, but we will. We always do. Come back every week for something new. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? Mm -hmm. Are we cutting? Cut. Okay.